Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to beautiful downtown Hamilton, Ohio. My name is Ian McKenzie Thurley. I'm the executive director of the Fitton Center for Creative Arts here in Hamilton. And with our partners in the city of Hamilton and the Hamilton Community Foundation, uh, we present to you another fantastic Street Spark mural for 2021. Believe it or not, this is our sixth year of making incredible murals on the streets of Hamilton, and we're really proud to be here again today. With that, the Fitton Center needs to thank our partners in ArtsWave in Cincinnati, the Ohio Arts Council, the City of Hamilton, and the Hamilton Community Foundation. Can we give them a big round of applause for their incredible support? To all of our sponsors and donors uh, for their amazing, amazing support this year, uh, as in every year, but of course this one's been a little different, as we know, and the things we've been able to achieve this year has been by that incredible community support. Um, Hamilton, uh, we are here by the river, we are a, uh, we're a Midwest town, and we can be like no other, we're like every other, but we are really quite special, and the community here does such amazing things, and you see that right here with us. Uh, they'll be talking a little bit about it today, but tell Ohio an incredible history uh, through that goes back through Chaco, and of course, what we have having down here in Spooky Nook all running in together, and to have them as great community partners. You may have seen them working with us at Fitton on the Hill, and at Pride, and at Fitton Center events, volunteering and giving their time, and that is is the staff of Tel Hayo. We really appreciate all they have done and of course for their financial contribution to making this happen and as I understand it taking care of all of our crew here at, uh, at on site while making these amazing murals. Do need to give a shout out to our other teams. You've seen these fantastic boxes going on up around town. We've got one on MLK and one just here on the bridge. Uh, just to let you know, we've got some fantastic videos with our friends at TV Hamilton making those because of the size of those and their space. We didn't want to do a big public event, but you can check those out online. We really appreciate our partners at TV Hamilton getting those out there. Incredible art happening. We do have one more large mural happening in August. You've seen that out on 3rd Street with our friends uh, at the fire department so we're incredibly proud of what's been going on in Hamilton over a challenging year uh, and to be able to do these things a huge shout out to the city of Hamilton's health department again as we've worked through this planning over the last two years in uncertain times to be able to do this to be able to produce art work with the community and do that safely we are incredibly fortunate here in Hamilton and I'm proud to work here proud to be a citizen here uh, and to be able to be involved with such a vibrant community as we go forward to much better things this year and into next year. It does give me now great pleasure, pleasure uh, to introduce you to our director of the uh, Street Spark program. And as I said, for six years making this all happen, it takes a lot of work. Uh, we look at the finished product, but the time and effort that goes into putting all of this together is many, many months of planning, of budgets, of conversations, of emails, of Zoom calls uh, in, the, in the days we are now and putting all that together and making sure everything comes together uh, to look so incredibly vibrant, but also to last. If you look around for six years, we've got these incredibly vibrant murals still shining bright on the side of buildings. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the uh, microphone Ms. Jen Aker-Smith, the Program Director for the Street Spark Program. Thank you, Ian. Thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Um, I just love when we can add a mural to a, kind of a new area in kind of an unusual location. Um, I've been wanting to do something on the corner of a building and put that out to our artists and our call to artists and see what they put together. And I love what Jamie came up with here. Um, she always has these layers of symbolism and meaning in her designs. Um, down to you know what type of flowers has she chosen and what does that mean? What is the symbolism of the colors that you see here? So um, she really she really puts together designs that I think everybody can connect with, whether they know that symbolism or not. Um, I'd like to thank some of the other groups that were essential to our process. Of course, our we have the very best partners, the City of Hamilton and the Hamilton Community Foundation. Thanks for being out here today and just for being there to partner with us every day in so many different ways. I wanna thank our uh, Talhayo contact, Alex Noga. 
He was so valuable during the design selection process, such great comments and such um, helpful uh, work that he did with our group. We had about 20 people that got together and scored these designs and selected them. Um, and our building owners are, are represent um, the buildings in those too. And he really went above and beyond too to help our artists. He was always there checking in with them. He provided a wonderful studio space. Um, they had restroom, separate restrooms and everything. It was just really nice. And so thank you. We really appreciate that. It really makes a difference to our artists. And also the staff was just so excited and always coming out and you know just giving the, the artist kudos. And so thank you just for being there in that way. And um, our design selection committee, raise your hand if you are on our design selection committee this year or have been on our design selection committee. Um, these are about, these are wonderful group of people. We have about 20 people that, like I said, they score online one round and then they come together in a meeting or a Zoom meeting, as we've done the last couple years, and they choose those final designs. Um, and they really take it seriously, and they really think about you know, what is a great fit for the community, and we appreciate them. Um, and that does cycle every two years. We try to get new people on the committee. So if you are interested in serving on that design selection committee, please let me know. Um, thank you so much to the Fitness Center staff, um, all of the administrative support, all the event setup support. We couldn't do that, any of this without them. Um, Hanson Scaffolding had some challenges on their hand this summer. It was so rainy and stormy, but they always come through with a great build. Um, they keep us on schedule, and so um, we've worked with them for five years now. They're, they're amazing. And then last but not least, I know the artists would really want me to shout these guys out. Thank you to the 2021 cicadas <laughs> who landed in all the paint, gave some background music, and generally were covering the entire scaffolding. So <laughs> there will not be another year like this on the scaffolding. So they enjoyed that. Um, let's give a round of applause to all these groups. And then I would like to introduce to you our mural designer and lead artist. Jamie Schorsch is an artist and high school art instructor at Oak Hills High School. This is the fourth Street Spark mural that um, she has been a part of, including leading and designing uh, Inspiring the Future that's located at Booker T. Washington Community Center. And that design also is on the side of a BCRTA bus that you hopefully have seen rolling around town. We've got three of those, so that was exciting as well. Please welcome our multi-talented designer, Jamie Schorsch. Um, I am also going to have my amazing supporting artists join me up here, mostly so I don't have to awkwardly stand by myself. So Taylor Helms and if Kinsey Downs is here as well, that would be amazing. They were invaluable to the creation of this mural. I could not ask for a better team to paint with. And Taylor is also one of my former students from Oak Hills High School, so I've really wanted to paint a mural with her for a long time, and it just finally happened. So it was awesome that she got to do this one with me. This was a, a challenging mural. I've never done one that was on the corner of a building before, and I've never done one that was in sticker style. So we definitely um, had some challenges along with the cicadas and thought of some unique solutions for getting around scaffolding and getting this, this beauty up on the wall. Um, to talk a little bit about the design, um, I know that Jen had mentioned that I put a little, lot of symbolism into my work. Um, I really enjoy researching the area that I'm designing something for, um, exploring what's around that I can kind of make ties to that will kind of harken back to the community. For me, one of the important things for this mural on the credit union was having something that alludes to Telhio's involvement in the community and giving back to, to um, the city of Hamilton. So the hands at the top um, are supposed to kind of like call to mind um, like a stone foundation that is kind of nourishing the community through the water that's trickling down. The tiger lilies represent prosperity and the daisies represent innocence, which ties to the middle school that is close by. And the irises represent positivity. I included the bees 
to represent productivity both on behalf of the, the credit union and what they support happening in the community as well. And after the first week on the mural, we decided that we were also going to hide some little cicada buddies in there because we started this mural at the peak week of the cicada evasion. I think day one on the mural, I was talking to my, my teammates and literally had one fly like into my mouth. So we got all that over with on day one and it was amazing after that. There were our little buddies. We actually missed them a little bit um, after they started to, to trickle off. It got really quiet that last week on the wall. The Telhio people, we would like to thank because they were amazing the entire time that we were here. They were very accommodating. They were so helpful. And Alex, again, always checking in on us, making sure we had what we needed. This was a great location, too. We had amazing community members popping by every day to check on us. I had one person that brought his like little girl every day to you know show what she could end up doing if she kept practicing her skills. So that was really awesome to see, too. It's very important to me as a designer that the community really engages with and enjoys the work. It's not just a decoration for a wall. It's something that should be inspiring as well. So thank you all for helping foster this amazing experience in our creation of this mural. And now I'd like to introduce to you our Tel High representative, Alex Noga, to say a few words about the project. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, if you haven't stopped by the Tel High Credit Union table, please check it out. We have some stickers with the cultivating community design on them. We would love for you to take them home. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for coming here. We are so happy um, to have participated in this project. We want to thank the Fitton Center for everything you do for our community. Um, we are very honored to be the community sponsor of the Fitton Center, and we're so happy that we could join the Street Spark program as well and find another way to get involved. Um, thank you so much to the Street Spark program. Jen, for all of your help throughout the way, from the selection process to the design process to getting everything up on the building and really bringing it to life. Jen was such a huge help and such a great relationship to have over there. And thank you, of course, to Jamie, as well as our artists, um, Kinsey and Taylor, for really bringing this to life. It's so bold and bright and beautiful, and all of the core values that Telhio has caring, commitment, and integrity really get brought to life in this mural. So thank you so much. Thank you, Alex. And thank you again to the Telhoyo team uh, for their community commitment and for looking after the artists so very well. This is a tough job. We're sitting out here in the sun right now. We're feeling it. Try being 20 foot up in the scaffolding and uh, in the height of summer and eating cicadas. So um, <laughs> hope those chalk dip ones worked out for you. Um, we say a lot about community. We're hearing it all through this conversation today and it speaks volumes. Street Spark is not just about decoration. It's about planting a seed and doing that in our community throughout Hamilton, as you see Street Spark expanding and telling people that the arts are here, but the community is behind it. Um, and also the city of Hamilton who have been with us since the genesis of Street Spark. And with that, I would like to invite the mayor of Hamilton to come and speak, Mayor Pat Moller. I just want to say, Taylor, Jamie, Kinsey, this just pops. It pops on two streets. The colors, just absolutely amazing. When you stand back where that TV Hamilton truck is, and thank you TV Hamilton for being here, when you stand back there, it looks like it's on a single canvas. The hands meet. And I said, that just popped and that hit me. And I'm going, wow, that takes artwork, it takes design, it takes everything. And um, I mean, and even in the heart, the water is dripping a heart on my right hand side. I, I think that looks like a heart to me over here. Maybe it's intentional, maybe not intentional, I don't know. but. But again, this is a great partnership that's going on in the city of Hamilton. Uh, you've got the artist, Street Spark, 
Fitton Center, uh, Hamilton Community Foundation, uh, the committee, uh, you know, so many donors and sponsors to make this all possible. And this has helped bring our city back to life. The murals, Street Spark, is bringing our city back to life. Yes, Bookie Nook is. Yes, all the restaurants are. But this adds a lot as well. So on behalf of the city of Hamilton, thank you very much for getting this done again. It makes all of our citizens very proud. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and again, thank you to our partners in the city of Hamilton and the Hamilton Community Foundation uh, for making this happen every year. We certainly appreciate that. I know our artists, and I know that our community does as well. Uh, we do have another uh, dedication happening on Thursday, August 6th. That'll be down on North 3rd Street in the German Village, arguably the greatest part of Hamilton, but I might be a little biased. There we go. No? No one? Anyone? Okay, well, we'll see you down in German Village because we have all the cool stuff and a brand, beautiful brand new mural. Uh, we'd like to invite you to stay around. Our very gracious hosts here at Tel Hayo have put out some snacks and some drinks and some water. So we'd invite you to stay, get some photos with the mural. Please hashtag those and uh, Instagram those and get those out on social media so we can spread the word and spread the love of these great new murals. Hang out, get your photo taken and meet these incredible artists and have a chat about the things that they do. Thank you for coming out here, ladies and gentlemen. We certainly appreciate it. Great representation with that great word, community, here in beautiful downtown Hamilton, Ohio. Have a lovely evening, and thank you so much.